Hey guys, it's Loves to Loom here. Today I will be showing you how to create my super awesome ringlet bracelet. This bracelet is my own original design. I'm just so in love with it. I think it is so cute. I named it ringlets because um, the more I stared at it, I just felt like it looked like little ringlets um, that girls wear in their hair. So yeah, that's where I came up with that. Um, but here is like a side view. I hope you guys like it. Um, technically, I did not call it a reversible design, but I guess it technically could be. This is what the backside looks like. So some may like it, some may not. You can pull these a little bit as well. It doesn't stay open though, like when you wear it, but it just helps like the little fringe. And then it has like the spiral tightness going down the middle. So I guess it technically is reversible. Um, I do not know exactly how many bands it takes to make this. I will have it in the description box below though. I know that it definitely takes less than 100 bands. So without wasting your time any further, let's get started. To make this bracelet, you only need one bar pin. We will be working with three pins and also one C-clip and draw hook. I will be working with white and my light blue. To get started, we're going to twist one band on this pin here to this pin here like an infinity sign. I'm going to start with my white. Push that down. We're going to do the same thing right next to it with my next color. So we're going to place that on, twisting that on like an infinity sign. We now need to add another layer onto each pin. So using my white again, I'm going to lay another layer on the left side without any twisting that time. And we're going to lay one more layer on the right side without any twisting going back to my blue. So you should have a total of four bands, two on each side. Now this step that I'm showing you now is um, strictly for the C-clip purpose. So now we're going to grab these very two bottom bands which is one of each color, we're going to bring it up and over on the middle pin. Grabbing those two and just bring them up and over behind that pin. Push them down. We're not going to do any more stitching yet. And now we're going to start adding layers onto our left side. We're going to add a set of three bands and we're only going to be hooking this pin here uh, for the duration of laying these three. So we're going to lay, and you, you're going to want to count so you don't lose track. So this would be one. And we're going to grab the bottom band on the left and bring it up just like you would a fishtail. Grabbing the same color and the same pin, we're going to add band two. We still need to do, oh, sorry about my hand. We still need to do the stitch on the end here. Grabbing the very bottom band, bringing that over. And we need to add one more band, which would be band three. And one last time, grabbing that bottom band, bringing it over. So as you can see, we bring the bottom band up and over every time there are three bands on that pin. So for this time only, we're going to grab these two bands to get them out of the way. Like I said, it's for the C-clip. So for this time only, we're going to grab these two bottom bands and bring it up and over the three bands that we just laid. Push them down. And now we're going to add three bands onto our right side, just like we did with the white. So switching to my blue, I'm going to lay band one. And we're going to grab the very bottom band on the right side and bring that up. I'm going to lay band two the same way. Grab the bottom band on the right and bring that up. Lay band three and do the same thing. Grab the bottom band and bring that up. So as you can see, we now have three bands, or excuse me, six bands, three of each color, on our middle pin here. From here out going forward, we will start to see the pattern of the way we're going to make this bracelet. And I'm losing focus. Sorry about that. So what we have to do is we're first going to bring this very bottom band up and over. So 
So just grab the bottom and bring it up and over all of those bands. So now we are left with five bands. Now what we have to do here is a little bit tricky, but it's not too hard once you get the hang of it. So what we have to do, I'll explain it first. We need to be in front of this top band, if it's easier for you to kind of separate them. We have to go on the outside of the top band, but inside the next two, because we want to grab the fourth band here. So we don't want the last band, we want the fourth one. So I know that sounds confusing, but we're going to, I use my hook, and you're going to like, going as if you're going to grab the top band, but you're not. You're just going to kind of push forward. Using the back of your hook, you're going to push back the next two bands. So as you can see, the top band is in the front, and then the next two are behind my hook. And now I'm going to grab the next band, which is band four. So I'm grabbing that from inside those two bands. And when I pull it up, I still want to be on the outside of that top band and then bring that band behind the pin. So it's actually going around that top band. So now we have four bands left and you're just going to go grab the bottom band and bring that up and over. Basically it's like you're doing three stitches I guess you could say. So now we're going to do that again. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. So going back to the left side, laying band one, we have to do the stitch on the left, so grab the bottom band, bring it up and over, laying band two, bring the bottom band up and over on the left, and now we have to lay band three. If you ever lose count of what bands you're on, always look at the middle. Because obviously you can see if you're using two different colors how many you've laid. Do not go by the left side. So um, now we have to also bring that bottom up and over because you only want two bands on that pin. So now we once again have six bands on the middle pin here. Just like we did the last time. The first step is grabbing the bottom band, bringing it up and over. And now we have to go inside those two bands again to grab the fourth band. So I'm using my hook. I'm just going to kind of push my hook in that top band. I'm going to use the back of my hook to push back the two white. And I'm going to grab that fourth blue band. Or if you want to just refer to it, once you push the two bands back, it's the very next band. So just grab that one. Bringing it up, making sure that it is coming up through that space so that it can wrap over that top band, like so. Now go back, grab the bottom band, and just bring that up and over. Push those down. Going back to the right side, we're gonna do that again. Laying band one. Coming to the right, we're gonna grab the bottom band and bring that up. Laying band two, doing the same thing. And now band three. Grab the bottom band, bring that up. Have six bands on the middle pin. We're going to grab the bottom band, bring that up and over. We need to go inside here. So I'm going to move the top band, pushing back the next two bands, and grabbing that next. Whoops. Let me try that again. Grabbing the next band with my hook from inside there, bringing it up and over, coming back, grabbing the bottom, and bringing that over. So it's very important that your bands are not twisted at all because it does matter which band you are grabbing. Laying band one, looping the side, band two, looping the side again. And again. So we're going to do that again. Looping the bottom band first. Now we're doing that inverted type of stitch. Pushing that middle out of the way. Grabbing the next band. Bringing it up. 
and then bring it up the bottom. Now we have to lay our blue. Just don't forget that after every layer you have to loop the side up and over the very bottom band. Now stitching the middle, grabbing the bottom band, going inside these two, grabbing the next band. And then coming back, grabbing the bottom, bringing that up. So that's literally what we're going to do for the entire bracelet. You're just going to go back and forth, laying sets of three each time. I just like to make sure my bands are straight. Now, once your bracelet starts to grow out, it may not look exactly like how mine did. I'll show you at the end what I did to get that exact look. It's super easy. I just basically pulled on a couple bands to pull, like, the borders out to make that, like, frilly effect. But I'll show you that at the end. So don't worry if it looks a little funny. And if the very bottom of it has, like, a super loose band on the right... Don't worry, because we're going to actually use that um, in our C-clip. So I'm just going to do this a few times, just to make sure you guys are catching on. Because I know it's a little different. That band was really thin. I hope it doesn't break on me. This is definitely a design where you want to take your time. So I'm just going to do this one more time. So I'm laying my three layers. Now I'm going to the middle, grabbing the very bottom band, bringing it up and over. Now I'm going to push in my top band and then using my hook pushing back the next two bands and grabbing that very next band underneath of the two I'm pushing out bringing that up and over that top band coming back grabbing the bottom and bringing that up and over so I just wanted to kind of walk you guys through in case anyone was confused of course you can give your bracelet a pull as it grows i'm going to go off camera finish up the length of my bracelet then we can come back and close it up together at the end if you have any problems just watch the previous instructions and i will be right back Alrighty, guys so i did go ahead and finish up the length of my bracelet to close it up first make sure your uh, loom looks like this you should just have three bands in the middle so basically it should look like you're getting ready to start your 
next layer. The ends should only have two bands on each of those. Um, so what we're going to do is, like, it doesn't matter which side you end on, um, but for example, I laid my blue last. So I'm going to take a single white band as if I'm going to start doing this side again. I'm going to lay that across my left side. And I'm going to loop up the, the left, the bottom left, like so. Um, and then I'm going to lay one more on the right side of the opposite color. Sorry about my focus. And we're going to do the same thing. Bring up the right side over there. The bottom band. And now I'm going to grab the very two bottom bands and bring them up and over. So grab the bottom two and just bring those up and over. And now I'm going to stretch one band across all three of these pins like so and now we're going to bring the bottom two up on the left the bottom two up on the right and now we're going to grab these bottom three it's going to be a little tight and stretch them up and over as well just bring them to the back Push it down a little and we're going to bring the right side into the middle and the left side into the middle. Push that down. There should be three bands on your middle pin here. And this is where we are going to attach our C-clip. Just make sure you get around all three of the bands and then you can pop it, oops, pop it off of your loom. Carefully slide your pin out or hook out. Just pull on that a little bit. Let me just zoom out. So this is what it looks like when it first comes off of the loom. As you can see the frillies on like the ends are not or on the sides are not out very much. So to get the look that I originally showed you before I clip it, um, there's a total of three bands like next to on the sides here but you'll see that each one has like two pretty much sticking out more than the other one so I grab those two and I go down and just pull them out like this and you do that on each side so I just give them a, a nice pull to pull them out some of them may be a little uneven um, but at the end, I give it a, another sh little stretch, and it kind of evens it out. So just do that on both sides. It's okay if you accidentally grab that third band, but you'll see what I'm talking about. There's two bands that already kind of stick out a little bit. So I just help them stick out more to give that effect. And then see it looks a little crazy, so then I just kind of do that again. I'm losing you guys, sorry, my focus. So then <clears throat> on the end that does not have the C-clip, let me do it this way. When you come down here, you're going to see this crazy band like hanging out here. You're going to see that it's also here in the front. So I just grab that with my fingers and pull that down. So that would be one band that I'm going to clip it on to. And then underneath that, you see there's a white one. So I grab that really loose one and then the one under it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's what I attach my C-clip to. So just grab those two. And of course, if you have any other crazy loose bands sticking out down there, you can grab that too. And just pop it on your C-clip like so. You may need to come back and just kind of make sure it looks clean. But I kind of just played with mine and pulled where I felt that it needed to be pulled. So that it looked even. So there you have my completed ringlets bracelet. So you can see what I mean by... Like you may need to pull it in certain places. 
But even if you don't mess with it, I do think it is super cute. I love this design. I just think it is unique and just a little different. So if this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already. And I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you like it as much as I do. Tag me at Loves to Loom on Instagram if you do make this bracelet because I'd love to see it. And I will see you guys at my next video. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.